right, we're at the Alchemy Bar, and we're going to be trying like every drink on the menu over the course of the cruise, and we'll tell you all about them. Our right, first up, though, this is Island Old Fashioned Caribbean Twist, Spice, Bacardi, Sugar, Rum, Bitters. And I went with the, I lost it, oh my deal gosh, closer. oh, Deal Closer, uh, Vanilla, Vodka, Amaretto, Ivory Cream, Chocolate Liqueur. Right, cheers for that one. That one's good. All right, so it's not super sweet, which is good. Um, and it's got like a little, you can taste that spiced rum. And you got cherries. Cherries and orange, you can taste the orange. All right, awesome. And we all know Deal Closer, chocolate, goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Here she comes. Hey. All right. All right, so we have... The basil. Basil drop. Basil drop. Basil, basil drop. drop. For the lady. And then we have the 40s, and the, 40s the new 20. Yep. Yeah. All right, basil drop. 40 is the new 20. Very full cool glass. Uh, I actually did not spill it, even though it was very full. <laughs> so this one is like pomegranate. Uh, vodka, very, very good. And it's not terribly sweet. It's like, like in medium, medium sweet. So 40s and E20, drink of the day today. It's one of my favorites. And she has basil drop. I was worried about the basil drop because I don't like the taste of basil, but all it is is just a leaf. So very good. Yeah. All right. So what would you rate these two? You try to both. So I do think the 40 It's a New 20 has a little bit more flavor, a tiny tartness because of the pomegranate. This one seems to be a little bit more subtle. So I actually think I like the basil. Ooh, we're moving. I actually like the basil drop slightly more just because I'm not big with pomegranate, but oh. they're both pretty good. Pomegranate. Though. Who's not big with pomegranate? <laughs> um, I think I would give uh, 40 is a New 20. I would give this one a 10 because it is actually my favorite drink at Al Alchemy Bar. But let me go give this a little go, the basil drop. Restorative basil drop. So I think you would like this if you're if you're done with all the sugary drinks for the day. It's not real sugary, but it's not like too too bland or anything. And it's got a lot of mint. So uh, we're getting ready for dinner, so I just want a basil. little subtle. Yeah, that's good. I like this. Yeah. I would give this one I don't know, I'd give it a, a solid eight maybe. Okay. So we have our next two. This is the Chipotle Martini and, and the Cucumber Sunrise. Cucumber Sunrise. Cheers. Thank you. And the Catalina and it was brought, brought them. by Catalina. Wait. Uh -huh. Catalina. <laughs> oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. So you can't go wrong with this one. We've made it at home. You got to buy the Monin syrup, uh, Chipotle syrup, and then add. I forget what all else, like simple syrup, and you have to have mint leaves in your garden. But this one is super good. I mean, I would give that one at least like a nine, I would say. And then 10 out of 10 with the cucumber sunrise. It's watermelon, cucumber. It's just fantastic. It's very refreshing. We've made that one at home too. Yeah. yeah, you can actually find the recipes for the Alchemy Bar drinks online. So they even have the deal closer. All right, I'll try the cucumber. Yeah, just a nice, very refreshing drink. The cucumber adds something. So I would give this one, I think, a nine as well. And I would also have to give a 10 out of 10 to the. Oh, well, give it a go. All right, off to dinner. <laughs> All right, so we've had our favorites so far. Now we got to dive into some that we aren't so familiar with. 
We have our next two drinks. We have the remedy. No. So I have the martini selection, which is new for me. I've not had this before. Okay, that's red passion fruit, uh, lime juice, hint of orange. Try not the spoon. So I have the remedy: dark rum, coconut rum, uh, white cane sugar, and. Spice cane. She's there now. She was my, she was my partner. <laughs> All right, this one is very tart. So Edie actually might like this one. You could really taste the passion fruit. All right, this is the remedy. It's got an interesting spice to it. Everybody say hi to Carol. She's a fortune teller. Hello. All right, so here, you want to try this one? Hi, fortune teller. Remedy. Oh, I don't even like the smell of this. Alright, so martini seduction. I like this one a lot better. Alright, martini seduction, I give about an 8. I don't even like the smell of this one, honestly. It's like heavy orange flavor. Very, very good. I don't like that one. Oh, no, no. Yours is. Alright, she's got the better one. Alright, remedy, I don't know. It's something with Sardo Santa Antonio I never heard about. <laughs> <laughs> this is not me, it's not This one's about a, a five. <laughs> <laughs> we got it. She does it better though. <laughs> Alright, the perfect storm. Hearts on fire. And what was it that you sprinkled? Cinnamon? Cinnamon? Okay. Cinnamon. And we have the hearts of fire for you. And the gin base. That's the one with gin. Yeah. All right. Gin base, agave, and you have the Thank blue raspberries, lemony, lime juice. All right. Hearts on fire. Oh, mine is and very full. Cool. Cool. Yeah, the perfect storm. All right. Oh, gentle. You got it. You got it. You got it. You got it. I'm gonna bring myself to it. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> this I like that. really good. Yeah, you. The gin is like subtle. It's hard to taste the gin. I'm gonna have to get another drink because I got all the cinnamon on top, so it just actually tastes yeah. like cinnamon. But uh oh. I think I might give this one uh, an eight at least, maybe eight or nine. It's hard to say. You said you like the gin. I do. I do like you, it. You taste the gin. Yeah, you can hardly taste it. No, it's very subtle. Alright, so you got that one, Hearts on Fire. Creamy. To me, I can taste the gin. Alright, perfect storm. That's really good. Normally, that's we've had that like in a wine glass, and they used to do like a, a little storm or like smoke or something. But it tastes really good. Yeah. Yeah. Actually, I'm gonna just say yeah, nine on Perfect Storm, eight and a half on Hearts on Fire. I'm gonna say seven just because I don't like it. And what was yours? On I'm one? also gonna give that a nine. A nine. All right. These are two winners. <laughs> Beautiful and bold martini, yes. and then the French kiss. All right. Yes. Well, we may be trading. All, All right. right. Perfect. Time What's the time? Time. 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 Yes. Oh. You don't have time, time for time. Taste. All right. Oh. Don't forget to cheer. All right. Oh, that's different. That one is very nice. All right, well, that's a yeah. dry champagne, but it's good. Yeah, you would like that. And then that it's got cut. the little uh, <laughs> flavors, raspberry. The Chambord raspberry. And so that's a bit dry. Let's see what you think of that. It smells dry. Okay, so... The, she shortened the name to Youthful and Bold. So I think I prefer Youthful and Bold. It is a little on the sweet side, but I would still maybe give that one at least an eight, maybe. It's sweet. I would maybe say, uh, maybe a six on that one. I'm gonna go way down. I'm gonna give that a three, just cause a I don't three. like, I don't like oh. champagne. champagne. I don't like champagne. She don't like champagne. I'm still thinking <laughs> on my. Take another drink. I'll take another drink. <laughs> oh, blueberry vodka. Oh, blueberry. That's 
the taste. Blueberries. Yeah, it's blueberries. Oh, I love blueberries. If I add blueberries, I'll put some blueberries in there. Um, all right, we're all, yes. the audience is waiting. So I think I will I will give it an eight. <laughs> an eight? Think, all right, yeah. okay. Well, that one's a winner, but it's also sweet. Not yeah. really sweet, but all right. Okay, so next on the list, Purple Sunset. Uh, it is Bacardi Rum, Lavender Syrup, Fresh Rosemary, Sparkling Wine. Okay, it all sounds good. It does have a little purple tint to it. And yeah, you can taste the cham champagne right off the bat. And I am having a Cassandra Special. Uh, uh, carbonated water and a little bitters because the ship is rocking pretty good and I didn't take my Jeremy so right, she's waiting for dinner to take her girl yeah. there he is hey, it's all Matthew's fault we're blaming it's all Matthew it's all <laughs> <my fault. laughs> no. how you doing good how you doing hey. good to see you but yes, purple sunset. So I would give this one another eight. I mean, it's not super sweet. So. Seven or eight. Yeah, it's good. Okay, moving along. Yeah, it's a little bubbly. So okay. we might be a little crooked because our gimbal is dying. So if we're sideways, that's why. Or we may be crooked because we've had too many of these. No, the, uh, that's not it at all because this is my first. All right, uh, Andrea has the mule. So I have the mule, but it looks a little different because since I am having a little motion stuff, which is way better now thanks to Cassandra and Catalina. But it's a mule, but a spin. It has watermelon instead of ginger beer, and it's fantastic. So if you want this version of the mule, just say make it watermelon based. Instead of ginger beer. Yeah. Good, good. It's fantastic. And what would you give that one? I will give it a 10. Oh, a 10. There it is. I have Alchemist Sidecar, uh, which is uh, VSOP. Oh, VSOP, or is it VSOP? Someone told me. Cognac, uh, triple sec, fresh lime, simple syrup. It smells dry. But you got sugar, right? Oh. It's sugar on the rim. Yeah, that's... Not for you. That's not my thing. So I know a lot of these have been scoring high for me, like eights or nines. Um, this one's probably like a, a four. Well, Do you want to try it? Well, we're scraping the bottom of the barrel. We're getting we're there. At tomorrow, we have our last three to try. So it's going to be a little rough going for the last day. Want to give that a go? So maybe a four to a five for the sidecar. It's just not the right flavor not profile for me. You give it a one. Not the one. A one? Yeah. yeah. Nothing against oh. the Maybe I was nice with the five. Alright, I'll give it a four. Nothing against the alchemist or those who like it. It's just not my cup of tea. Alright, try your mule. 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 Oh right, yeah, that's good. I can see where it's like ginger based and then it's got watermelon. So that's good. Alright. Yeah, I would give that one uh, a good eight or nine. All right, now off to bed. <laughs> All right, see y'all. Four more to go. So we want you to please uh, subscribe to our adventures. Yay! <laughs> that was awesome. Oh my god. That's All right. You guys look like you practiced that. All right, we have our next two. I, yep, I think you did it right. You did yep, it perfect. That's right. Yep. Thank you. And we have our next two. We have the uh, revved up mojito with gin and all kinds of good stuff. And this is the curative peach cosmopolitan. Oh, all right. There we go. Okay. All right. 
like, yeah. so I usually like Cosmopolitans that we make at home, but I think I like the peach better than with than, the uh, cranberry. Uh, cranberry. Well, that adds cranberry as well, but, but it adds peach. Yeah, the peach is a bit stronger, so I get a peachier taste, which I like better than more cranberry, so pretty good. Nine out of ten? Nine out of ten, yeah. all right. And this one, uh, not as sweet as all the drinks, which is a good change, and then the mint really stands out. It, yeah, I really like this one. It's uh, refreshing, delish. You could taste the gin, too. So, yeah, I think I would give this one a strong 9 out of 10 as well. This one's really good. All right, so we got okay. one more Charming. each to go, possibly after dinner. So. Yeah, so I was not a mojito person before, but this is my maybe second or third ever. I think I really like this one. Yeah, if you like mint. Mm. All right, well, let's switch around and see what you think. Again, like Andy said, I'm not big on mojitos either, but it's actually kind of pleasant. Very solid. Yeah, it's very kind of subtle. It doesn't scream mojito, so very good. All right, Peach Cosmo. I can do this. Yeah, so I do like that one. I'm not as big on peach as yeah. Andrea is, so I wouldn't score as high. I would probably maybe say 6 out of 10. I just don't like the speed the peach so much. Well, there you go. I'm sorry. Alright, I'm gonna go 7 out of 10 just because not big on mojito, but it ranks high for a mojito. Alright, so there you go. You only have two more to go. Alright, it's come down to this, the last two. Uh, we have the Quick Fix, which is like a Bombay Sapphire Gin based drink. Um, and a little green something or other. What was it? Midori. Midori liqueur. That, that's what makes it green. Right. Uh, and then I have pain relief, which is rum, Malibu coconut rum, combined with French orange pineapple juices to blurring the relief you need. There you go. The last two. Oh, last two. All right. Here we go. <laughs> Oh boy, all right, yeah, it is licorice. Okay, thank you. So I do taste the licorice flavor. It is licorice. All right, I'm getting a lot of, I think I'm getting a lot of star rum and some of the orange and pineapple. I, the coconut quite hasn't hit yet. Oh, there it is. So the very first um, sip, it's coconut right away, and then it kind of turns to like a orange and pineapple. So what do you think? So. Maybe seven out of ten. But it's not terrible. <laughs> well, this one, so it's, I didn't say it right licorice, it's black licorice flavor mixed in with this. So I'm just not sure if the flavors go well, so I'm gonna give this one like a five, five out of ten. Did you have not for and I like black licorice, so it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Well, here, you get the turn. I do not like black licorice, well, there so this you go. scares me. Oh man, I smell it. Huh? You're gonna love it. Oh, it tastes like those Mike and Ikes <laughs> Mike and that you like. No, and good and plenty. It's good and plenty. Are good and plenty. I, I can't. All right. So let's see you on the pain relief. You can just smell the black licorice. Okay. Yeah, I can do that one. Well, I can do that one more. But I'm only going to have to give this a zero just because I don't like black licorice and that's all I'm tasting. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, and this one, uh, I'm not crazy on peach. Yeah. So maybe like a six out of ten. Yeah, it is like black licorice. Well, that wraps up the whole menu. 
the whole menu, so yeah. our favorites. I don't recall it was a 10 out of 10, but it might have been 40 to 20 probably. Yeah, and I still really like the cucumber sunrise along with the spicy chipotle. Yeah. And I did find some new ones that are like, so I like yeah. uh, that revved up mojito, the first one I had. Yeah, so we'll um, be able to enter more into the mix on different cruises now that we've tried all of them. We can actually rotate different yeah. drinks. Perfect Storm is always great. Chipotle mar martini is great. Martini seduction at the beginning, that was good. Um, the sidecar I wasn't crazy about. The old fashioned I wasn't crazy about. And now this one, the quick fix, I'm not crazy about. But I think the rest are fine. Oh, watermelon goodness. It's so pink. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> She's getting it delivered. Thank you. Oh, that looks and fab. The best garnish ever on a piece of spaghetti, a row of watermelon. All right, give that a shot. All right, try something. They're on the cards, yeah. Oh, oh yeah. It just screams. You did it. Thank you. Thank you. Ah. Anything with Kahlua has to be good. Oh, you got it. I got it. Oh, look at that. That's it. Holy cow. Okay, that's like. Alright. Oh, look at it go. Oh, that's like the best drink. Alright. Going off the air, coming down wall. There we go. Alright, cheers. We have the Golden Galaxy. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's it exactly. Alright, that's it. Wow. Um, here's two of our alchemists. <laughs> Cassandra, the lovely Cassandra, made many of them. And Catalina, future captain of the Vista. Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. I love it.